we are doing our previews for this coming week. As you know, we used to do these live. We are now doing them pre-recorded because YouTube rewards pre-recorded content and not live. Pretty easy. So anyway, with that, um, we're going to preview this week's shows like we always do. We have two more shows left to qualify for the Olympia, and then that's it. We're done. Nothing left. And then we go on to next year. So next week shows qualify for next year's Olympia. So um, this is kind of an interesting uh, lineup for both of these shows. There's not a lot of names. Um, it's a um, little, little different. Usually we start seeing people come out to um, warm up for the Olympia, that kind of thing. Now, I know we have a couple more weeks left, but usually we've got some big names that are coming out now to, you know, warm up, get a, get a show underneath their belt, that kind of thing before they go into Olympia. And nobody's really doing that this year. Um, so I imagine probably the next couple of weeks of shows, we're probably going to see some, we're probably going to see some come out and just test some things prior to getting on stage again. Um, now I assumed we would see some people jump in, which is why I waited to do this preview video till today. Uh, because usually by the time we get to Thursday, then we know, who is in, who is out, all of that. And we did. We had one big name jump in, and that's it. I thought, I thought we might get more, but we didn't. We got one. We got one big name. So before we get into previewing these shows, as you guys know, it is time to sign up and get your tickets for Cuties Carp in the Stage. So we got it over here, QR code right here, Cuties Carp in the Stage 2024. If you're not familiar with this event, it is the first um, all-female weekend of presence, posing, training, teaching, everything you could think of that just applies to females in our industry. This is our ninth year doing this. Uh, it is in the DC area here and it's a three day weekend for Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Um, so if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, early bird tickets are right here. They're almost gone. So make sure that you check that out. There are payment plan, uh, payment, payment plans available as well. Uh, we understand the whole thing with budgets and all of that, but it is a luxurious weekend. You get away at the Ritz Carlton. They take amazing care of you with banquets. We do giveaways, prizes. Everybody wins crowns. Some people go home with sponsorships. Uh, so it's actually really a fun event. And it's, it's all female, all female, no men, none, zero. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. So let's move on. Let's get into these shows for this evening. So let me pull up these lists first. Let's do, do we want to do Legion first or do we want to do Southern Muscle first? Let's do Legions first because that's the one that we assumed would have a lot of names. Now, before we get into uh, Bikini, I'm going to talk about wellness a little bit first. So let's go to wellness first. All right, here we go. So this is a impressive lineup for wellness. Um, we've got a bunch of names on here of people that have been placing well throughout this year. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, though, again, I don't see anybody on here that is currently qualified for the Olympia, which is interesting to me. Um, I could be wrong. Maybe this Rosa is qualified. I don't know. I don't know that name. Uh, but this is the same thing that we talked about last week. I could go through this list. And I could pull probably half of this list that have all placed top fives at least because the lineups have been so minimal uh, throughout the year. Now, all of a sudden, we've got this huge lineup of girls that are coming out um, to compete and try to qualify last minute. So my mouse has been freezing on me recently. So um, there we go. I guess some of the people to be looking at are Jasmine Payne. She just placed sixth this past weekend. Jennifer Zoller, she placed third or fourth uh, this past weekend. So those are a couple of names to look at. Um, but it's really kind of anybody's game here. So I'm not going to go through and, and preview everybody here because it could be it could be any one of these people. Who knows? Maybe somebody signed on that we haven't seen. I don't know. Um, but oops, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. I just X'd out on one of these competitors here. I don't know which one it was. This is 
trying to I have a touch screen here too. So before we get into that, I also want to give a shout out to Andrea because Andrea is one of our Pro Performer Promise winners. So this was her at the Olympia this past year. So she qualified last year. She won Toronto and she's going in. This is her first show this year, this season. But this is um, this was her on the fitness Olympia stage. She is competing in Legions this coming weekend. When she competed in the Olympia, we did do her suit for her, her posing for her, and her makeup for her here. So I wanted to give her a big good luck this weekend. Um, she'll be wearing the same suit. Um, and I'm curious to see what she looks like this time around and see if she's made some improvements since Olympia. Uh, she tends to do very, very well in the routine. So I'm curious to see how her routine goes this this uh, this time around. And we'll be rooting her, for her and wishing her good luck going into this. Again, it's the last op opportunity to, to qualify for the Olympia this year. So who knows? Maybe she'll pull out another win. So good luck to Andrea. I wanted to give, the, give her a big shout out as she goes in. There we go. And as you guys know, like I was, I was saying before, she is a Pro Performer Promise winner. If you don't know what that is, I sponsor girls that win their pro card in one of my suits or that win their Olympic qualification in my suit. So if you're a current pro and you purchase a suit from me and you win a show and get to the Olympia, then you become sponsored by me for the remainder of your career. That's what we call the pro performer promise. Um, that's what Andrea did. Devin did that um, in wellness. And then uh, everybody else has done it through uh, winning their pro cards. So if you win your pro card with me uh, using one of my suits, then you become sponsored for the remainder of, of your career. Uh, and I actually am only going to be sponsoring girls in that manner from this point on. Every year I tend to get about five or six girls that win their, win their sponsorships with me and um, they continue to compete and do very well as pros, that kind of thing. So that is the only way you're gonna be able to get, get a sponsorship with me unless you come to CCTS. I will be giving away sponsorships at CCTS this coming year. So you need to be there if you want one. Just a little plug. Another little plug. Okay, so let's move on. All right, so let's X out with her. We're going to move up here to Bikini. Um, so Legions. Um, I mean, right off the bat, We've got um, Amy. That's the one that we mentioned uh, jumped in um, last minute. I thought I had her pulled up here. Let me see. This is the other show, I think. This is Rachel. I think I X'd out of her accidentally is what I did. I was trying to click through. Um, Amy, as we know, though, is a previous Olympian. Top six in the world. Actually, I think if I put her in here, I think it's not going to bring her up. I think I have to put her middle name in. I think it's Marie. Let's see. Then. Uh, let me find it. There we go. Oh, Leanne. I was close. I thought it was Marie. I was close. So she won the New York Pro. She also won Pittsburgh. Um, she won several shows this year. She won the Clash too, I think. Let's see. So she won Pittsburgh. Yep. Clash. And she won Wasash. So she's won four shows this year. Um, obviously, she's trying to make a name for herself here, right? She did play sixth at the Olympia this past year. It was her first Olympia. So she is gunning for a top spot. Um I think that her goal this year, I think, is top three uh, from what I heard from her little interview on NPC News Online, which is absolutely doable. Um, she took some of the top titles in our sport this year. Um, they basically told her not to change anything coming out of these shows. She did just go and do her little road to the Olympia thing. So uh, she'll be going into legions now with whatever they told her to do at her road to the Olympia. 
So I do know that there have been some specific posing critiques that have been given uh, to not just her, but several other people uh, going up to the road to Olympia. So I expect to see a few changes from her this coming weekend. Um, but nothing really crazy, just some little subtle tweaks that will probably make her present her physique a little bit better. Uh, I do think she is your, it's going to be hard to dethrone her. It's going to, it's going to be really hard to take her down at this particular show. Not impossible. As we saw last week, you know, Deraja got taken out by two people last week. So a top Olympian can be taken out. Um, and you know, if, if Amy's not quite in condition yet, maybe she's not quite ready for the Olympia yet. Comes in a little soft. Wh who knows? You know, all those things are possible. Um, but I have a feeling she's probably going to come in at 100%. Uh, and even if she doesn't, it's still going to be hard to hard to take this win from her, um, even if she's coming in at 80 or 90% in this particular lineup. So I do think she's going to be the one to beat. And I do think it's smart to be in this particular lineup as well. Um, get the feedback, make sure that whatever she does going into the Olympia is exactly what she wants to bring. Now there's a few other names on here that we can see. Um, you know, Marioli, I've got her up here as well. Now the thing with Marioli is she's on both this list and she's also on, um, the Southern muscle muscle list. So I don't know which one she's doing. Um, I don't see her winning this show. I actually don't see her, see her winning the other show either. I still think she's got some things to work on. Um, you know, it's very possible that she could get into the top two, uh, but I don't see her beating Amy at this particular show. We'll talk about her as far as going into um, Southern Muscle when we get over to that one. Uh, but yeah, I, she could potentially be top two here, which would be great for her, um, but I don't see her winning it. So we'll see. Um, let me pull up a front shot for her real quick before we move on to the next girl. You know, my critique for her has been consistent throughout the whole the whole year. Um, she has streamlined her legs a bit, which is good, but she still has more mass on her lower her lower half than she does in her upper. She needs some more delts. Um, and in general, I've never been a fan of her suit cut on the top. I think it's showing way too much chest. Um, so I would like to see a little bit more coverage up on top. Um, you know, she's she switched up the color a few times and keeps going back to this red. I think the red is the best color for her but I just like to see a little bit more coverage on the top. Um, I also mentioned her with this particular show. She's got the, the glam going on in the polished and presented well um, <clears throat> look here, as opposed to some of the other people um, that have an issue with the glam. She's doing a really good job with the glam. She's a really good job with the presentation overall, uh, but she just needs some more upper body size in my opinion. Um, so that's, that's the one thing that's kind of holding her back. And like I said, she is, she has streamlined her legs a bit. So her glutes are doing a lot better from the back and everything too. So, you know, again, she could be a potential top two here. Uh, again, don't see her beating Amy, but potential top two. And then we have Lacey who Lacey just took fourth. Uh, and in Phoenix this past weekend. And we just talked about her the other night too. Brand new pro, looks really, really good, has a great look to her. There's a few things like with her back pose and things like that that I would change. Um, not a fan of the suit top. The suit top looks just a little bit bunchy and like it doesn't fit her quite right. Uh, and there's a few times when she moves through transitions that we see some oddities with her glutes as far as the outer part of her glutes. So there's just a few little like presentation posing things she needs to work on. She does sit down into her back pose a little bit too much as well. Um, and I think she does that, but she's not quite conditioned enough in the hamstrings. So I think the reason she does that is so she, you know, so that she can pull the hamstrings out a little bit more, uh, but it just ends up making her look like she's squatting. So again, I can see her top two, top three here, not overtaking Amy. Um, I think that it's probably going to be, it's going to come down to her, Marioli and Amy in the top three. If Marioli's in this, she may be in the other show. I don't know. I don't know which one she's actually in. Um, but you know, we could see her, we could see her definitely in the top two. Um, but again, I just don't see her beating Amy at this point. So when we're looking at this list, which I just X out of because I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, let me go ahead and pull it, pull the list up again here. Hmm. 
There we go. So when we're looking at the list, I mean, it's really going to come. I, I I really think it's going to be Amy. I just don't see anybody here that's going to give her a run for her money. Uh, I could be wrong. I have been wrong in the past for sure. But I just see Amy taking this. Abby Gaetano could be one that could come up and get into the top three as well. Uh, she's a master's competitor, but she does decent in the open as well. So she could be one to be looking at for top three, top four, that kind of thing as well. Um, so, yeah, I think this is Amy's show to lose at the end of the day. I don't think I don't think that uh, that, that we're going to see anybody come out and, and take that from her. Um, so that's my two cents there. So let's move over to Southern Muscle. And I wanted to wait on this one for the second one because this one's a little bit more um, up in the air. Right. We've got a lot of names on here that are relatively new. Um, some that have been kind of moving up in the ranks. The only person on this list that is qualified currently is Yulia, and she just won her qualification last week. So she is potentially your winner here. However, Jessica Dolius has also beaten Yulia at, uh, you know, at Sasquatch, she beat her. So it's not a slam dunk. You know, it's not a slam dunk here. I do think they're going to be your top two with the, uh, caveat that there might be a couple of people in here that can get into that that zone. Um, so let's take a look real quick. So obviously, like I said, Yulia just won her Olympic qualification this past week. Uh, she did win Arizona. We've done a whole podcast with her. She is, again, one of my Pro Performer Promise winners. So like I mentioned before, she won her Pro Card while working with me. So she is sponsored by me for the remainder of her career. This is one of her suits that she's gotten from me. Um, we are making her a, a Olympia suit that is exactly the same <laughs> because then she'll just have a backup in case she needs it, in case something happens. Uh, who knows? Anything can happen show day. So we always want to have backup. Um, but yeah, at this show, her goal is really to kind of bring the same package, maybe a touch fuller because they did tell her in Arizona not to get any, any harder, um, not to get any tighter. So if anything, she may come in a little bit fuller at this show and just see if they like it. Uh, and that'll give her some data to use to go into the Olympia with. Um, I do think that this is likely going to be another win for her, but it's not a slam dunk. You know, she's not that dominant of a competitor. She's She has been moving up in the ranks, which is fantastic. But that doesn't mean she's going to just walk away with this win. Because I do think that Jessica's going to give her, going to give her some fits. So let's pull up. Jessica. So Jessica Delias, you know, has been placing top two all year. Last year, you know, she was also in that, you know, top five, top two range almost every single show. She has gotten better this year. Um, and she's just barely missing a win, right? Barely missing a win. So, um, you know, part of me, like I, I, I want Yuli to win because she's one of my clients and I work with her and everything, but also I like to root for the, the underdog. So I kind of hope that Jessica comes in and she does a great job here as well. Um, my critique is the same always with her. I think she looks great from the back. I think from the front, her waistline's teeny tiny, but she needs more definition in her waistline. I did tell her this. I think this is the case from every show this year. She just needs a little bit more um actual definition in her core. Um, and then she needs some more shoulders, which she knows all of these things. This is basically what they've been telling her too. The judges have been telling her the same thing. So um, I, 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 I'll, I'll be interested to see if they change anything going into this show. Maybe they tweak a couple of poses here or there. Who knows? Maybe she got some good feedback in Daytona that they, that they told her that would help her to really bring out the shoulders or bring out the abs, that kind of thing. I don't think you can make significant changes in a week, but I do think you can make some posing changes that could make you look completely different. Um, you know, one of the things I mentioned about her front pose from this, this week too, you can see it here in this photo is the placement of her hand on her waistline is way too far in and she's actually squishing her skin there too. So I would pull that hand back. That's one thing I would absolutely do and change right here. Um, and then just other stuff, you just have to kind of play with it, just see if it works or if it doesn't. Uh, so she's definitely a threat. She's definitely a threat here. It's not going to be a slam dunk win, win here for Yulia by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I'm curious to see how this goes because she does have a fantastic glute shop. Her, her glutes are nice and full. Uh, so let's see. Let's see how it comes out uh, at the end between these two. And then, um, like I said, we've got a few other people in this lineup that could make some noise. Um, 
One of those being Marioli. We just talked about Marioli. I don't know if she's doing this one or if she's doing Legions because she's on both lists. So obviously she's doing one of them. She can't be in both places at the same time. So um, so we'll see where, where she's at. If she's in this lineup, then I would say I would put her in the top three, top four. Uh, but we'll see where she lands. And then also Rachel. Rachel ended up in the fifth place position in Daytona. Uh, I did talk to Rachel as well. She was all excited that she made it into the top five and I got to review her on my wrap up um, on Monday. So she was really excited about that. And she said that what I said was exactly what the judges told her, um, <clears throat> that she just needed to fill out the glutes a little bit more. Her conditioning was right where it needed to be, but she needs to fill out the glutes um, and that her arm needs to relax in that front pose more than anything else. And then beyond that, she needs to grow some more glutes just in general needs to grow. So if she comes in a little bit fuller this week, I could absolutely see her in that top three. Uh, we'll see where that, where that lands her. I would put her ahead of Mary Lee to be perfectly honest. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if that, if it plays out that way. Um, probably top three, I would say here. And then we have Amy. That was Amy from the, from legions. So that's where that went to. <laughs> So my mouse stopped working, so I'm using my touch screen. So uh, I've been touch happy here a little bit. So with that, you guys, um, real simple. This is our final week for people to qualify for the Olympia. I think that in Legions, we're going to see Amy take it. So I don't think we're going to get a new qualification there. Here in uh, Southern Muscle, it's very possible that we could get somebody new or Yulia could take her second win. This is going to be the show to watch, I think, personally. Uh, I'm curious to see how this one plays out. I think it's going to be really fun to watch because we don't, again, we don't have anybody that's super dominant in this particular show. And I always like seeing that kind of thing. I like seeing girls have to fight a little bit, right? Um, <clears throat> and then we're on to Olympia coverage. Olympia hype, all of the fun things coming up with Olympia in just three weeks, four weeks, four weeks, three weeks. I don't know. Four weeks, I think. We're that close. So um, I'm super excited to see what happens going forward. Uh, but this weekend's going to be fun. I I'm curious to see if we get a new qual qualification or if Yuli goes into the Olympia with two wins. That would be pretty awesome, right? So let's see what happens. Tell me in the comments who you think is going to take each show. Maybe I'm way off with Amy. Maybe somebody thinks that somebody else is going to take it from Amy. I don't think so. I think Amy's going to take it. Um, I'm still going to put Yuli in that first place position because I do think she's going to win it. However, like I said, I don't think it's going to be a slam dunk. I think she's going to have to fight for it. Uh, so let's see. Type into the comments. Tell me who you think is going to take it, who you think is going to be your top five. Um, you know, with the caveat of Marioli is listed on both lists. So I don't know which one she's going to be in. But regardless, I see her in the top five in either one of them. I just don't see her winning either one of them. So we'll see whichever one she's in, she ends up being in. So with that, you guys, thank you so much for following along and being here, supporting the channel. Subscribe, like, comment, all of the things. Share. Um, all of those things help us with algorithms. Again, the reason we started doing these uh, pre-recorded is to help with the algorithms, to get it out there a little bit more. So uh, do as much as you can to help us grow this channel. And then we will have a behind the bikini again next week. I'll be live again next week and we will have a pre-recorded uh, episode again next week too. So you have plenty of cardio theater. I know I need it myself too, because my own cardio has gone up. So if you haven't done so already, like I said, Cuties conquering the stage, early bird tickets right here. They're almost gone and they're almost sold. They're almost closing down as well. So uh, click on that. Click in the description box below. And that's it. That's all I got for you guys tonight. All right. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Enjoy the weekend shows. And we'll be back again live on Tuesday.